Hey, we're here with Uber producer Andy Sneep, the man, the myth, the legend. What's happening? Good morning. You all right? What are you working on these days? I'm uh, just doing the uh, the Megadeth record down in San Diego at the moment. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, kept me out here since, well, it'd be the, the end of September I've been out here. So, uh, you generally like to work in your studio in England, yeah? Yeah, it's, it's kind of the way, the way we've worked here. We've got a warehouse down there that we've kitted out with a Pro Tools room and, we've, you know, all the, all the gear that was in storage in L.A. we've brought back down there. I'll jump into an Exodus and Arch Enemy mixers in the meantime. So yeah. we're always keeping busy, man. You were and you, he always works with all our favorite bands. He's worked with Skin Lab in the past. Yeah, that's going back a bit. Yeah, yeah. He worked with uh, Machine Head. The Machine Head was the sort of the first American band that I worked with because uh, that was back in I think tail end of '96. I got brought out to LA and San Francisco to do. Uh, the more things change with them. Uh, and I've just made a lot of good contacts down, down in, in the Bay Area in L.A., you know, with like Central Media and Roadrunner and, and the bands, you know, in, in the Bay Area. I can speak from personal experience. This man gets great sounds on record. I was always, when I was, I was playing back in the, uh, in the late 80s, early 90s, I was always fascinated by the studio side of things. A lot more, I was a lot more into it than the live side of things. And uh, I used to just analyze mixes to death. You know, I'd sit, sit there with my headphones on, listening to the different reverbs being used, and really go into detail with it. So I didn't find it difficult to get into this side of things. And when uh, when the band, uh, my old band, about to split up back in '91, I got like an eight-track reel-to-reel that I was messing around with at the rehearsal space. And uh, you know, I set it up as a small demo studio. It went up to ADAT, started working at a 24-track studio, started doing a lot of live work. And I just learned as I went on. Really, I didn't do any schooling for it or anything. I just picked it up. Now I also know that you still play, and you are occasionally. Now, you, what, what was the project you were involved with recently? Well, there's my old band, Sabbath. Um, I mean, we're, uh, we're doing like the odd one-off gigs. We, we did sort of four dates in the U.S. last year. Right, right, right. A show next month in London. Uh, there's one in Greece. Uh, and there's, we're doing a show with Opeth and Bullet from a Valentine, I think, in April. So, uh, oh, that'll be fun. There's still little bits that we do. We're not, we're not doing any new, new albums or anything. With just, why not? I can't be bothered. That's why. <laughs> All right, well, if people want to find out more about what you're up to, where can they go? Uh, just andysneep.com. Uh, you know, I've got my own MySpace page as well. But, uh, you know, uh, I try and keep up to date. I'm not very good at that. but uh, <laughs> the, the, I think How do you have time when you're uh, in the studio? The, actually, the forum is, is probably the best bet that's on my site. You know, that's quite a, a busy forum through Ultimate Metal. So, um, yes, yeah, you're probably best off going there and, you know, checking occasionally. All right, well, keep up the good work, sir. We look forward to hearing more killer sounds. I mean, the guy's amazing. I'm to hearing a finished Megadeth album at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> we'll look forward to that, too. I'm sure those, those tones will be sick. Yeah. All right, very